Now we have a basic server. This server language is JavaScript. It uses Express.js as a backend framework. And you can run this server on any machine with Node.js environment. Let's run it and see the result. First, I check my Node.js environment with this command, node-v. This command must give you the version of installed Node.js. Then I use npm run dev to run my server using Node.1. Well, we see the success message and it's good. Now let's open our browser and check the result on server port, which is 5555. So we need to go to localhost port 5555. And this message shows cannot get a slash. Let's open developer tools and go to network section. Here you can see network requests. I refresh my page. You can see a request to localhost and it has a status of 404. Let's click on it to see more details. Here we have three sections. Click on general. Now you can see request URL, request method, a status code, and other data. A status code of 404 means that we don't have the requested URL. For each URL, we need to have an HTTP route. The default HTTP route of this server is a slash. And you can see the message of cannot get a slash. So let's make it. In index.js, we use Express Framework to create our HTTP routes. I want to create a new route for a slash route. I use app.get. The get is our HTTP method that generally used for getting a resource from server. We have some other HTTP methods and we will work with them later. The first parameter of get is an string for our route. So let's use a slash. The second parameter is a callback function that handles this request. In this callback function, we receive request and response, and we can manage both of them. For example, we can log the request, and also we can return any message with our response. Also, we can send an HTTP status code, for example, let's send 234 with any message you want, and now let's check the browser again. Well, we have our message, and also our status code is 234. 